Consider munching on dehydrated foods for a healthy and filling snack. Getting your kids to eat healthily can be a really difficult proposition. After all, what child would want to eat something like fruit for a snack when there are tens of thousands of different salty or sugary products out there just dying to be eaten by kids all over the world? Many parents have a really tough time trying to figure out how to get their children to eat healthy in the time between meals. While it is not difficult to force kids to eat healthy during lunch and dinner time, as they can simply eat exactly what you and your husband or wife are eating, many parents struggle with weaning their kids off of sugary or salty snacks like gummies, candy bars, cookies, and chips. At the grocery store, kids will beg for these treats, often guilting you into buying it for them, even if you know that purchasing it for them is a horrible idea. No parent wants to look like the bad guy in situations like this, when you've got a screaming, crying child in the supermarket begging for that tub of gummy worms, so you will have to substitute the foods your kids have grown accustomed to with foods that are equally as tasty, if not better, even if it means that you will have to do a little extra legwork to find recipes and make these treats. One such substitute includes dehydrated fruit which is not only yummy but will provide your children with just as many nutrients as eating regular fruit. In fact, you could always use a cookie cutter on dried apricots and pretend they are actually junk food. Almost any fruit can be dehydrated via a process to remove all of the water from it. Slightly different from dried fruits that are left out in the sun for some time, dehydrated fruits maintain a look similar to their original form and some dehydrated foods can even have water added back into them at a later time. One of the most popular dehydrated fruits is the dehydrated banana. Devoid of all moisture, it turns into sort of a sweet chip with a distinct banana flavor. If your kids hate bananas, then consider dehydrated strawberries as a great alternative with much the same consistency. Additionally, dried apricots are often a favorite. Furthermore, there are a variety of dehydrated food recipe sources where you can integrate dehydrated fruits and a dehydrated vegetable or two into otherwise common dishes. If possible, you should avoid purchasing your dehydrated fruit and instead make it yourself with a recipe. This might be a little extra work, but in the long run, you will definitely be happy that you started doing this. Dehydrated fruit from the grocery store generally contains loads of salt, additives, and preservatives, all of which aren't great for your kid. However, if you dehydrate the fruit yourself, you can get the same taste without all the additional poisons, which was actually the goal the entire time, anyway. Even though kids can benefit from healthy dehydrated snacks, adults can join in on the excitement, too, with a variety of fruits and vegetables as well. Originally designed as dehydrated camping food, there are hundreds of different options for vegetables and other nutrient sources, including dehydrated peas and dehydrated carrots, two big favorites. One of the most well-known sources includes dehydrated refried beans, which can be cooked up like regular refried beans for use in a healthy and nutritional meal. Other options include the dehydrated mushroom, dehydrated potato, and dehydrated onion, all of which can be combined with some water or broth for a delicious stew or soup. Dehydrated fruit versus junk food. For those parents who worry about the problems of children eating junk food, dehydrated fruit offers a perfect alternative. While some may wonder if kids will prefer a natural, healthy alternative over common sugary snacks, the fact remains that fruit is a sugary snack, just a different kind of sugary snack. This type of fruit is filled with natural sugar and that is what gives the fruit its sweet taste. Now, even though the sugar in dehydrated fruit is natural, it can still cause obesity. Sugar spikes insulin levels and whatever amount of sugar that is not burned will turn to fat. However, natural sugar, as found in dehydrated fruit, takes much longer to enter the bloodstream and, as a result, has more opportunity to burn. Dehydrated fruit also offers much in terms of vitamins and nutrients to the body. The sugar is junk food is processed and refined and enters the bloodstream immediately. This allows it to turn to fat very quickly. A major effect of this quick entry into the bloodstream is that one gets hungry very quickly after eating refined sugar which leads to further additional calorie consumption. This, of course, is done without providing the body with any additional nutrients, or even any nutrients, that it needs. 
Dehydrated fruit is such a better option than traditional junk food that a comparison between the two cannot be done without truly pointing out how incredibly bad refined sugar is. To try to do so without pointing out all of refined sugar's shortcomings would be laughable. This is not to say the occasional junk food snack is harmful, but the problem is people who eat junk food eat far too much of it. Replacing junk food with a healthier alternative such as dehydrated fruit. That is just a highly sensible choice. Make your own dehydrated fruit trail mix. Nothing can be simpler than making your own trail mix using dehydrated fruit, granola cereal, pretzel bites, and M&Ms or similar small candies. To begin, get your ingredients ready. If you want, you may add any tidbits you enjoy to your trail mix. The two most important parts are the granola and the dehydrated fruit because they'll form the basis of your mix. It always helps to keep things tidy and speed the process if you have everything lined up ahead of time. For our recipe, you'll need to use 1 cup of granola cereal, 1 cup of mixed dehydrated fruit or 4 quarter cups of 4 individual dehydrated fruit types, a fourth of a cup of pretzel bites, and a fourth of a cup of candies. Sprinkle your ingredients into a large mixing bowl in layers, a layer of granola, a layer of dehydrated fruit, a layer of pretzels, and so on. Repeat until all your ingredients have been added. Next, mix it by tossing lightly. Your hands work best for this, if you have children, this is the perfect opportunity to encourage them to help in the kitchen. Be careful not to crush the granola too much, a little is okay, but too much will turn your trail mix into a crumb mix. Once that's done, you'll have a trail mix that can be served at parties, packed for going hiking, or stored and saved for later. If kept in an airtight container in a cool, dry place, your trail mix will stay edible almost indefinitely, although it may begin to go stale after two to three months. Your biggest concern will be the dehydrated fruit, since it may cause the entire mix to mold if it picks up moisture from its environment. To avoid this, always prepare your mix in a dry atmosphere. A house with central heat and the air is always best, and a dining room away from the stove, the sink, and other fixtures is actually better than the kitchen. Happy snacking! If you like this video, give this a thumb up. Share this with your friends and don't forget to subscribe.